talk about straight into it, eh? Oh, gilded chest, nice. Come on. Oh my god, these spiders are so annoying. Here. Ooh, a vault diamond. Yes, please. All right, all right, all right, all right. Trailer park girls. Go round the outside. Uh, that's not good. That's really not good. This is an elite. Let's skadoodle or skedaddle. Yeah. Woo. See if we can get some relics, you know? This is very quickly going to become where I do most of my playing in this world, I think. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. We are in our starter house that uh, we very quickly outgrew. Once you do a couple vaults, you uh, run out of storage, you run out of space for all of the different tables that you have. And so I have moved. I have scooted on over to our big castle across the way. And I've set up shop there. So welcome in. This is our new little courtyard area. As you can see, I have been busy. I have been doing the things I said I would be doing off of uh, camera. And here we are with a basic setup for storage things like mobs random blocks we've got some vault materials that we need to have all of our food more vault stuff look at that knowledge we're getting there uh, we got a gems chest relics even hello uh and yeah things are things are going very well uh one thing that i have noticed is we have some of these and i think i'm thinking i want to go ahead and mine them up so i've laid them all outside and i want to go and fortune those up to start off today's stream. Oh, would you look at that? We got ourselves a good old fashioned pile of gems. So I don't believe there are player gems here. No, no player gems. Um, but we are gonna try and get the most out of everything that we have here with our fortune and our vein miner. Nice little chunk of Laramar to get things going here. We'll see how the bennies go. This is the one I'm probably most interested in just because I know we need a bit of it right now to get started. So what do we have? We have 10. So we have 10 bennies. Wow, stack and 18 of that. What can we get? Well, that wasn't very smart. <laughs> All right, 23, not bad. Kind of mid-pack, right? Two per. Uh, and then these ones are gonna be a bit trickier. I'm hoping to get just a couple black opal. Ooh, that was one for two. That is not great. Not great at all. So we do have a ores chest here. Uh, we're actually gonna be using a good chunk of these here today because we are gonna get more progress done in our quest book. So taking a look at the quest book, our next step is to create an artisan station. Now an artisan station is how we can reroll or add things to our vault gear. So this is gonna be a huge step in the progress. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at what this could be. So, looks like we need some of that chromatic steel and getting I knew that. And uh, we already have a couple anvils, and I believe we also have some netherrating that's already crafted up, so... Nice, got five of those there. Uh, let's go ahead and grab five of these. Alright, and now we need some of that... Oops. Some of this here, we need two of that, good stuff. And we need an anvil. Now, where would anvils be? Ah, there's one. Hopefully damaged anvils will get the job done. Would suck to have to uh, craft a special one, you know? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What a bummer. And there we go. We have our vault artisan station. And I've created a little forge area over here. I th I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of this little decorative thing and put the vault artisan station right next to the the forge one thing that i've done in the past i've actually put the forge on top of it because i think it looks really nice i wonder if we can get away with that here i'll have to get crafty but i think we can all right well that's looking pretty okay put down our little decorative piece there and our singular gold coin looking good so the artisan station is uh, the area where you will put all of your um, focuses. So we've actually gotten some wild focus so far. I think I've thrown them in there, six wild focus there. So the focuses themselves do different things. The wild focuses will modify vault gear um, by reforging all prefixes and suffixes. So you can see on this, 
Uh, we actually have an empty suffix there in the bottom and we have three prefixes. We can roll all of those again, but it will take away some of your um, crafting potential. And once that gets too low, the item will break. So we do have to be aware of that, but normally you can get a bunch of stuff, especially early game, a bunch of different options there. So we'll probably keep it. You know what? Boom, there goes the damage anvil right there. Uh, as you can see, I've also moved the portal in here just to sort of keep things together. Uh, as much as I loved our starter house over there, start, start. As much as I loved our starter house over there, um, it was just too small. You know, we'll have good memories in there. I'm gonna leave the paintings on the back of the windows there, so we can, we can always never, we can never see, never see through that. Do I like that? No. Okay, so that's the artisan station, and what does that give us in our book anyway? Ah, some wild foci. There we go. So now I believe we can actually use these because if we were to take these and put them in a three by three grid, yes. Amplifying focus. Now amplifying focuses do something different. They don't reroll everything. They actually add a random modifier if there is an open slot. So I need some plating and some, some um, some bronze but we're actually gonna fill that empty suffix down there and we should probably take a look on our gear as well see if we have any empty there's one there and uh, oh by the way rolled Omega boots because of course I did two empty prefix prefixes there so we're already running low um, but yeah we're gonna we're gonna load up these two probably and my sword I think that's probably gonna be best case scenario all right so we'll put these in here and that is going to help us out. There we go. So now you can see we can do it. Um, it'll actually add on the thing. That'll reroll everything. This will add something to it. Uh, and uh, just uh, for continuity's sake, we are continuing. Uh, our next quest actually has us rolling something. So reroll a gear piece with a wild focus. So I do have to do a wild focus. I am probably probably should take a look at this. I think this one actually might be worth using a wild focus on simply for that three armor. It's as low as possible. I do like the item rarity piece though, but you know what? Let's let's use it. Let's use a wild focus oops, on our vault leggings. Okay, so three armor again, not great. We could do it again. Three armor, oh wait, no, that's not gonna change. I am so smart. My genius is so good. Implicits don't change. That requires a different type of focus. Uh, okay, so uh, on our roll here, we have added two health and one armor, so I do like that. I think that is better than what we had before. And more importantly, all of our prefixes and suffixes have been filled. So that's wonderful news. There we go. Now these, on the other hand, I need to add two prefixes to. I like the four armor, not that I can change that. The two armor, the six, the item, the soulbound. Honestly, actually, eh. I might wild focus this once. Let's see what happens. Oh. So it just got better, I guess. Soulbound doesn't really matter to me yet, but three health is great. Max roll on it. So let's add something. 9% increased damage. I'll take that and 12 mana. Nice. Okay. I'll keep those. Mana isn't really a priority right now, but it will be soon. And let's take a look at our Vault Star. We just need, uh, I love the chaining and the slowness cloud, so I can't reroll the implicit. So let's go ahead. 0.16 attack range. I've actually not seen that one before. That's a new one. Interesting. Okay. Well, there we go. We have filled up our, our gubbins here. We have loaded up our tools. We are ready to move in that way. And I believe this one just gives us, yeah. A little bit, a little bit of goodies that we can toss into there and leave them there for now. Next up, we have scrapping vault gear. So we have to acquire a vault recycler, and this was actually something that was pretty high on my priority list anyway. Because if we look up here, a lot of this stuff is not going to be usable. I have my backup set here that have pretty decent stats on them and an extra pick because I had to craft one. Um, so I could probably create that. I don't know what the vault. Recycler looks like. Let's take a look. Vault recycler. Okay, so that is going to use up a good chunk of that chromatic steel. 
So it's just a lava bucket, same as the other one. That, that, that makes sense. And you might be wondering what all those villager noises are. Well, yeah, emerald. Uh, they're important. So I'm probably going to try and drag a zombie up here at some point and try, try and get these trades down. But at least we have a way to get some emeralds going now. Okay, let's go get ourselves some lava. And you know what? I know exactly where to go. Hello, Halsey. Good to see ya. Woo. I want to clean up the side of this here hill. Is this the most convenient? No. Do I care? Also no. Yes. Perfect. Ooh. I forgot, I forgot about that enchantment. Or that uh that advancement. There we go. Cool. So now we can go ahead and make our vault recycler. Um, there's a couple other things I am gonna want to make as well that I don't think are I don't think the book follows them. Uh, one being the black market table. Actually, I think that one is in there. Um, I've already made a nature's compass because I needed to find granite for a stone. So there's a there's a couple of things that stood out to me as oh I can actually progress now. I think I have I think I have what I need to do that properly. Then we're probably gonna end up doing a vault, I'd wager. Gotta try out all this new stuff, you know, don't you know? Uh, excuse me? So, um, learned it the hard way. If you right click things on here, they disappear in your inventory. So. So 100% that was just a, a demonstration. I'm just helping everybody uh, learn more about Minecraft and definitely wasn't a blooper. So uh, we're going to ignore it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we have a vault recycler now. And the vault recycler, which will probably end up going out there actually, but... For now, I can go here. Whatever you put in here is gonna get shrunk down, scrapped up into some junk. So here, we'll take a, definitely a three armor, a three armor. And when you put these things into the vault recycler, they will get turned into vault scrap. Now there is also the chance of getting focuses. And if you get the focus, obviously you can use the focus. There we go. Now we have scrapped everything. We now have vault scrap as a new item. Um, actually, I think we might be able to keep that in the forge, can we? No, I mean, we can keep anything in the forge, but it's not an item that you need. So we won't do that. We'll just put it in here. You know what, we'll give it a couple slots. There we are. Okay, let's take a look here. We have ourselves 16 more, great. <laughs> Craft a plain burger. Wow, I've been, I've been eating burgers for so long. Hey, let's do a quick, okay, so black market goods is there actually, so it does come down the pipeline, same with knowledge stars, we can actually use that now, um, which I think we kind of need to, um, so maybe we'll just try and burn through this kind of as quickly as possible, um, don't know if I have, I do have burgers, wonderful, let's consume one, oh, actually, I don't have to eat it, I won't, because it would be a waste for me right now to do that. All right, there we go. We've got our burgers. Now, uh, reach level 10, there you go. So we have to reach level 10. We are currently at level nine. So we need a whole nother level ahead of us. I am curious though about the black market. I don't wanna jump ahead, but the black market is a super valuable tool that I can ha actually, I don't know if I have enough chromatic steel. Hmm, I guess I technically do. You know what? I'll, I'll stick to the I'll stick to the way the vault wants me to do it. Fine, I'll be I'll be nice. I'll follow the rules, although I don't want to kick up that vault. So research is obviously the way you unlock all of the mods. It's it's the it's the one I want to get to the, the the quickest. We could do it right now and unlock pouches, but I'm gonna hold off and I'm gonna try and uh, and wait until the game catches up to us. Maybe we can get two knowledge stars when we get to that point. Um, but we do have four unspent skill points. And I am wondering if we go into, ooh, it's tricky, man. Like, I'd like more heal. I would like more heal. And only There's only eight maximum. 
You know? I'm, I'm wondering if I go... Ooh, ooh, I don't know. Okay, so speed is just the heavy one. But strength, I can, I can get strength right now. Okay. Sure. Oh, let's just max out strength. Let's, let's make us much more deadly in the vault. That adds a significant amount early game. I think that's the way to go. And we'll get one more soon. <sighs> We're gonna have to wait for the lag. I've actually had the game quit on me a few times, so I'm really hoping that doesn't happen so I don't lose my crystals. But fingers crossed for me. Let's jump in the vault and see what we got. Let's get to level 10. Can I do a full level in one vault? Time will tell. Okay, uh, <laughs> had, 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 had issues, and now, unfortunately, I can't move. What is going on besides my time? Come on, man. Boy, they weren't kidding about there being lag, huh? Am I just dying on that fire? Oh, I just lost half a minute. No problem. Oh, there's a monolith there. That's a sneaky monolith. Look at that. A weirdo. Alright. So, we have uh, officially passed... Ooh. Right. Oh! I was about to say that extra strength really comes in handy. But then I almost died. I see another monolith. We're done. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we're getting lots of vault diamonds, though. Kind of, kind of weird. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to be upset about it at all. There we go. Some gilded chests. My goodness, something reasonable to loot. Oh, 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 oh. You spooked me. If you were a creeper, I would have been V dead. Ooh, bennies. I will take the bennies. I like the bennies. We got we got lots to explore, you know? Hopefully we get an Omega Room or something. Wouldn't that be glorious? Stairs going down right there. Coin piles and more monoliths. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo. I think we're gonna do this room. Danger Will Robinson. These are the new village rooms. The new village rooms have new dungeons. The new dungeons are a lot, but they're also very full of good things, and I think it's worth doing. Hmm. Not gonna lie. Forgot these would have been. Yeah. Not gonna lie, haste might be uh, might be something I invest in pretty early. So if I get swarmed in here, I'm I'm a goner. Don't kill that. He won't hurt me. Oh, I killed it. Ah, he got me too. The dang chaining. For once it hurt me. All right, that's going down. I'm not interested. I want to stay on this level. Do a few more and then keep going, I think. Oh, that was a waste. Oh! Problems. Problems. I think they do kill... Ow. Man, that hurts. I think they do kill other mobs as well. Ah, oh, I missed. Whatever. Just run through. Oh, dang. It's not gone. That was close. I don't know how close those were to spawning again. 
I'm far too low health to be messing about like that. Whoa, boy. There we go. You know what? I don't think I'm quite ready for these yet. I think I'm going to scoot. Simply to uh, loot more of the vault. <sighs> All of those chests would have been lovely, but I just, I don't think I'm quite at that level yet. Better to play smart than to be dead, you know? Get chained to absolute oblivion. Now, where are my ores? There's a black opal. I didn't set a bounty again. I even put it next to the freaking portal. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna lose my, uh, my vault hunting license if I keep forgetting the obvious things. Let's leave. Wonder bar. Ah, oh, another successful vault. Got both my, both my things there. Everything looks good. No, if I'm short by like a, a hair and I didn't get those things, I'm gonna be bummed. Kill those mobs. But, but, uh, no! <laughs> it was only 9,800? Not gonna lie, that was less than I was expecting to get. That's a kind of a bummer. All right, let's take a look at what our uh, our monolith crate got us. Some armor, tons of jewels. Okay, so we are looking for upgraded helmet and, uh, ooh, so we do have a helmet, we do have some boots, and apparently I rolled this, there you go. That was cool, didn't even know that happened. Well, we can, uh, we can do our best and put it in the vault recycler, nice. Also, oh man, the, the gold plus, the ancient debris is so annoying, so I, I don't do the nether, so I don't think it's an option. That is pretty good. That's a pain. Well, focus. Honestly, none of them are very good. Let's see, what's this one? 17 vault apple for either. Painite, I'm gonna roll it. Still mining Laramar, there we go. Yeah, four netherite, 21 chromatic iron. That's the one we're gonna do. Activate it. There we be. Okay, um, I didn't really get any of these packs, so see how lucky we are. Ooh. Actually got a little lucky there. Gotta love it. Our second, actually, that's a that's a Richie Rich. That's a new. So we now have four separate relic sets going on. Five, technically, if you count the dragon head, which I do. And then let's check our gems. We have a the, the maximum possible size, 5.3. Picking, which is the worst one. And then these are both pulverizing. I don't really care about that. And that one is better, 22 for shoveling. That's actually potentially useful. Let's go ahead and roll up our two pieces. We do need a better one of each of these. So basically anything common or higher is gonna be good for us. Dang, two scrappy dappy boys. Now, five, five, so let's just do a quick compare there. Uh, worse durability, worse armor, it's just a worse chest plate, great. How about this one? Worse armor, uh, worse durability, better crit hits, worse, no, they're both, they're both trash. So unfortunately we didn't get up all the way, but I'm thinking we might be able to burger our way to level 10. Oh, can we get cheeky? Cheeky with it. 17 burgers, that's enough, right? Four, five. Oh yeah, we're good. We're golden. We're, we're gilded. We are leveling up, friends. There it is. Let's go. And with that comes a slew. Of, there's burgers in here. <laughs> Who knew? Um, a slew of new opportunities for us, which is great. Uh, predominantly, we get a new type of vault in the elixir vaults, which is amazing. And we're actually going to get an elixir rush um seal to put on a crystal that's going to guarantee it will be it will be an elixir vault so that's pretty cool um seal of the sage elixir rush so that just guarantees we'll try the new type out um but we need to actually get one of these all shored up so let's go ahead and slap one in the altar and see what we got going on All right, let's see, how does this work? 
Eh. Hmm. One second. Aha! There it is. So it is where I thought it was. Uh, it costs eight, but that's totally fine. We can now collect our... I believe it gives us two Scrappy Boy Do's blank seals. There they go. Put the blank seals in there. We can put this in there. And as you can see, it actually turned the color of the crystal to purple. And we're going to do this fault. It'll stay purple. And I think that's really cool. All right. Are we missing anything? We have our bounty on. We do. We want to f mine five Laramar and get these rewards. We can do it. We can do that. And uh, this time, we're going straight into the vault. All right. Oh, boy. What the heck? I love this. Haven't seen this. Uh, haven't seen this yet. This new theme. And I like the elixir uh, thing at the top, too. That's cool. Where have you come from? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lag in the vaults. Troll in the dungeon. Once again, I don't think I necessarily need to be marking this because we don't have to get back to the portal um, to beat this one. We have to find a way out. Okay. The lag is... Oh, there's one right there. That's the way out. Oh, okay. Let's get our Laramars done, shall we? Oh, hello, Mr. Swordman. That's cool. One, two, three. Oh, we're done. Okay. Well, that was easy. What are you? There's a crab here. What is that? <laughs> there. It says, find a lodestone, which are those purple things. Ow. Crabs hurt, man. Ooh, there's some petazonite. It's another player chip that I want that one or is that a bomb night no I don't remember what it is anyway it's a player one and I need it all right let's uh let's put down the old Chester shops here put down the things that we 100% need in there finish mining this and then we'll fill it with anything that we have keeping <laughs> come here ornate chests I love these little pirate Dudes, I think they look great. Oh, baby. Okay, well, we're getting a better helmet. That's a guarantee. Oh, no. Come on, get down, dude. Come on, get the slime. The slime will kill everything. I didn't get the slime? Come on. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was a bad kick. That was a bad kick. There we go. Now I'm pretty sure there's a second spawner in this one. But it's so much... Yep. Come on, these things. So annoying. Okay, where are you guys? There you are. Okay. Cleared. Not my, not my smoothest. The spider clearly. Let's get all these chests now. Let's get the goods, baby. All right, that was a special one that just didn't have anything good in it. That's kind of sucky. Ooh, there we go. We got something. So many chests in these things. They're absolutely worth lo worth looting. Really, you're really gonna do that, huh? Dramatic steel, huh? I didn't think about these potentially being trapped. I should probably have that mentality for this. Assume everything's a trap and you'll never be surprised. I don't know what I'm doing now, so we're just going to go until we find one and then we're going to work out from there. So let's find out what that looks like. Oh, found one. Great news. What do you have for me? Anything special? I like special things. 
was that gem? 52 picking gem? You know what? All right, living, living, living. Ironically guarded by the dead. My brethren. Oh, yeah. Oh, so good. I genuinely think I have enough for two... Um, two knowledge stars right off the hop and we can we can check that before we're done here tonight because we're almost at knowledge star time really I missed that all right we're gonna take our time in this room we're gonna clear it out fully completely a little tragically hit reference for you ah baby I'm not scared of much these definitely I have some more goodies for me little chest areas here perhaps something underneath yep oh ooh, our first chest scroll I know there's another one coming two minutes left let's at least look let's at least look what's over here shall we what are you you're a special you're a factory room that's hilarious oh you know what no I don't want to do it too dangerous. Let's go ahead. Anyone else follow down the tunnel? Am I gonna get to you guys in time? Give me your shards. Nice. There we go. That was our first elixir vault. Please tell me I had my shulkers on me. Ooh, uh, there's 12,000 experience. The 87 chests in the pit, not gonna lie, not my best. Well, that's okay. Bunch of mobs killed. Even some damage received. <laughs> Imagine that. Me taking damage? Never. Okay. Let's get that out of the way, because we know it's in that one. Just some good stuff. Just some overall good things. A couple of netherite ingies. A couple of bottles. And here we go. What do we got? Some purple stuff. Is that gold? No, nope. looks like a bunch of common plus guarantees and a lot of gems. Oh my goodness, look at the gear. Holy crap. All right, let's take let's take a closer look here. Uh, a bad soulbound gem, a great coin affinity gem. Okay. Now we're talking. That is fine. That's great. That's like really good. That's all. That's all. That's really good. Nice. You know what? The gems weren't that bad, but look at all this armor to roll. That's honestly the best part, I think. And none of that. All right, let's roll this, uh, roll all this gear up and see what we can get. We need a better helmet and a better chest plate, and we are guaranteed to get those. That's great. Let's do our boots first because we have Omega boots and I don't see how they could top it. So. Dark Minotaur, so some Scrappy and a new Transmog, at least that's kind of nice. All right, let's do the axes because frankly, meh, not big into the axes. Maybe we get something special, I don't know. Axe two and Axe zero Transmog. So Scrappy, eight attack, it's definitely not gonna be, actually, same thing. Plus five attack damage. Actually, it's better, um, but we're not gonna worry about that. Let's do the shield. We have a rare shield right now. Um, it's okay. Don't mind it. Oh, 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 come on, baby. Oh my God. What are the odds of that being so great? All right, we'll definitely be rolling on it because we don't need soulbound or thorns damage. Um, we can just cloud one hit is great, but two empty prefixes, that is unreal. You gotta love it. And also, look how freaking cool it looks. That's a great that's a great shield. Uh awesome. That was unexpected, and I welcome it with open arms. Now, for the part we really want, we want to improve our armor here. So we do have a base of five on both of these plus extra armor. So that does make it a bit trickier. Let's see if we can't hit something else special. Okay, so we, we hit the commons, that's for sure. Four and four, uh, not great. Uh, um, 
Yeah, honestly, the uh, the common's worse than my scrappy right now, so I guess we're not going to do that. Uh, same there. Okay, bummer. Looks like, man, this scrappy gear, we, we just did really well with the amount that we were able to get on that scrappy gear, I think. I think that's where we were at. I'm just going to scrap all of it. Ooh, there we go. Fasted focus. Guarantees Thorn's chance. That's, that's probably the worst one. <laughs> So that's all we could put on it anyway. There we go. That is now on there. We have now two Omega pieces, a rare, and two Max Scrappies that are just holding on, man. They're just being better versions of things, you know? Be the best version of yourself, as they say. Uh, also, remember, uh, we have to do some rolling on this, so why don't we do that now? Let's go ahead. Okay. Okay. 8% soul chance is kind of huge. Um, it's just a higher, uh, well, 8% chance you get a boost of, of soul shards, which is great. The two health is nice. Slowness cloud is great. Knockback resist is fine. And, and obviously crit hit is crit hit. And it's almost maxed on that. So, uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to be happy with that. I don't believe there's anything unfilled on it. There isn't. So that is now going to be my shield. There we go. We got some extra hearts now. Oh, you love getting up there in the hearts, don't you? The last thing we're going to do before we wrap up here is we're going to eat some burgers in hopes of hitting level 11. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so we have two unspent skill points. Let's do that now. Uh, strength is maxed. I, I, I said I was going to go into heal, so you know what? Let's just do two right now. And I do have an expertise point as well. So the last one I put into fortune. I don't think I want to do that again. You know what? I think I'm going to go on breaking. I'm going to go on breaking. I don't want my tools and stuff to break so fast. We're going to do that. What am I What am I trying to talk myself into here? Well, that is going to do it uh, for today. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Hope you're enjoying. Uh, I'm new to this style, so I welcome feedback in the comment section below. If you like what you're seeing here, uh, drop, drop a sub, I suppose, because I'm new and I don't know what I'm doing, and maybe that would help. Uh, but until next time, the vaults, please take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated, folks. And uh, stay alive out there. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.